Hello, this is just a quick blog to say hello to everyone. It's been quite a while since I've posted anything. I've been busy with moving and trying to start a new life, and um, I just wanted to uh, say hello and kind of check and see how many people are still around. I've been planning to make a video about um, my experiences here on YouTube without naming any names or anything, just going into the general experience uh, of the whole, frankly, untold story of the YouTube uh, truth movement what we call the YouTube community. That's a story that's never been told. I've looked around, I haven't seen a single article anywhere about what happened here. It was extraordinary what built this site and uh, and then the whole community uh, who gave the content who were then essentially just wiped out, <laughs> not completely, but there aren't a whole lot of us left, well, compared to before. But anyway, I'm just kind of curious to see how many people are still around. Um, and so, yeah, I've been meaning to do a video on that, and I also want to do a video on eugenics, which I started working on for a number of weeks. Uh, I have a lot of, of sources to back up that. Uh, eugenics is actually not a conspiracy theory. It is a fact. It's very easily proven. Anyone who thinks it's a conspiracy theory doesn't know what they're talking about. And uh, those are the sorts of people who like to give opinions on subjects um, of which they know nothing. They just presume because they hear that it's a conspiracy theory that it is a conspiracy theory, even though it is admitted from beginning to end pretty much a great deal of uh, the eugenics movement and everything they have done has been documented by they themselves and published, and so it's not really a disputable subject. Um, but anyway, it is shocking and very important and is a piece of the puzzle of understanding what's going on in this world when things seem to be so messed up. Um, so anyway, those are a couple of videos I plan to be putting up uh, shortly, hopefully, and uh, I have no idea how many more videos I will be making. I also wanted to point out that um, I'm not sure if I'll be making, oh god, I say this, but I can't predict what I'll do in the future. Um, I'm surprised I'm even making this video. I wasn't sure if I'd ever be making many more videos on YouTube at all. Um, uh, it's really hard to say because things have changed so much. I'll go into that in, in the future. But anyway, um, but yeah, I made a whole lot of videos for quite a while, obviously, as many of you who, who followed me would know, uh, about the politics here in Canada. And honestly, I, I'm not that I'm not still angry, but I'm not nearly as angry as I was. I, I've just come to accept it. Um, and I, I've been saying for years, and I still maintain that what we need is a spiritual revolution. Uh, when I saw the essential, essential destruction of my country on paper, mind you, I mean, most people are not quite seeing it yet, uh, but when I was seeing the legislation being passed and uh, the politics that were destroying Canada as a sovereign nation, um, it, it awoke a kind of patriotic spirit in me that I didn't know I had. I really had no idea that I, I, I cared for my country as much as I do. Um, and I, it was just sort of instinctual, and it was honest. It was it was what it was, and I, I just kind of felt a need to speak out. And the main thing that bothered me, I think, well, I mean, I was outraged seeing what was happening, but one thing that really, really concerned me was the lack of concern by the Canadian people. It seemed that people just didn't notice or care. We had, for the first time, a dictator representing the big corporate interests and only the big corporate interests, which is to say the big oil companies here in Canada and the globalist interests at home and abroad, and not this country, its people, its natural resources, its human rights, etc. All that mattered was big corporate domination and stripping away of everything that this supposed democracy was supposed to be. And I made a whole lot of videos. If you're new to this, you're thinking, what the hell is he on about? Well, I've got a whole lot of videos that kind of goes into a great deal of that. Um, not the most recent things, but that's just it. I don't feel the need to go into that anymore because so much is in the public eye now. A lot of Canadians are finally concerned. I've heard a lot of people referring to Harper as a dictator because, of course, he doesn't listen. He just dictates to everyone how it's going to be. He's not a politician. He doesn't know how to... Um, have a discussion, how to debate things. He, he just knows how to be a strategist and how to get what he wants through. And mostly what he wants is um, basically, again, what the big oil companies here in Canada want. And uh, 
and that's basically it. And of course, he he'll you'll find him on the, the global forum uh, here on YouTube. They have a site where you can see him actually um, trying to sell himself as a kind of globalist uh, politician for a uh, new global governance, which he has talked about. And again, these sorts of things don't get reported much by the mainstream media, but I mean, it's here for anyone to see if they want to see it. So, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm still around and I still care. Um, but I know I, I'm not as angry as I was before, and that, that's not me trying to be different. I am different. I just don't feel the same rage. I do at times, but it passes. The thing is, when you get caught up into anger and frustration, you, I mean, you become and not part of well, sort of part of the problem. You, you, you're not getting to solutions. You're not getting to any kind of resolve. Um, I think that. Uh, I hate to use the word evil because it sounds so simplistic. I do believe in it, but it's anyway. That's a whole other subject. But what the dark side of, of this wants is for everyone to be fussing and fuming and fighting, left versus right, and and uh, nutball outside of the box thinkers versus the inside. You know, everything's black and white thinkers and all this uh, arguing and fussing and, and, and fighting, and this doesn't really accomplish it much. Uh, where we really need to come from this is from a, a spiritual, positive, clear perspective of, of positivity and love and honesty and truth and fearlessness. And uh, um, that's not necessarily easy for everyone, and it involves a great deal of personal growth, um, which is never ending. You know, frankly, um, anyone who knows anything about the human mind knows that the ego is forever a huge part of that. The biggest obstacle you have to overcome is within your own self. A friend of mine recently went into that in a video of his. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's the internal struggle. Um, I was recently watching the old Star Wars trilogy again. I haven't seen that for quite a, for quite a while anyway. and. Uh, and uh, the internal struggle that Darth Vader goes through, uh, not that the average person is anything like Darth Vader, of course, but there is a kind of struggle, uh, I think, inside of everyone, where there is a good side and a bad side they're trying to fight. There's a, part, uh, there's a materialist, and I think a, you don't have to call it a, a spiritualist if you don't want to, but a humanitarian, you know, a real human uh, being inside of you, the, you know, a spirit, whatever. Uh, the inner child, the heart, whatever you want to call it, there's that true side that, that of purity outside of the ego and the selfish wants. And, and, and there's there's a, um, I just call it the spirit, but anyway, that fights against uh, the other the other side of, of who we are. And it's just uh, an ongoing internal struggle. Um, but there are many people who are pretty hollowed out. They don't seem to have any real humanity and they seem to bask in the suffering of others. Um, these people are not just narcissistic, they are psychotic and, and they seem to be the ones that are running everything from you know small local community events and town councils to the very top and, and it's so sad seeing uh, where I live many different towns uh, and, and different areas that are having a hard time to do much of anything because everything that people want to do has to be approved by some kind of council and when these councils are made up of people who represent only the rich and these are basically just old uh, I'm, I'm sorry to sound anti-conservative because I'm not but frankly often quite conservative old-fashioned uh, just old people. They just want everything to be quiet. They don't want fun and excitement and energy and vitality and anything that might excite people, make them feel alive again, that may boost the economy. They just want to kill everything, let everything die. It's just sad that people can hardly have anything positive because all the councils are run with this mentality. And I'm also seeing a, a more and more of a clear divide between rich and poor. Uh, and a lot of tension and a lot of anger and a lot of resentment everywhere. Um, you've got, um, of course, poor people aren't happy being poor, but you've got a lot of angry working class people that aren't happy being slaves, basically. Um, <laughs> something that I can certainly identify with is I, I've been a working man through, through you know, much of my life and I wasn't on EI or something, but um, uh, currently I do have a year-round job, so um, 
I guess that will no longer apply for me, at least hopefully. Um, but yeah, I mean, throughout my life, I've gone job to job, job, have all kinds of different kinds of jobs, but at the end of the day, I mean, you are working for money. And a lot of people are not happy doing that, especially when they're not getting paid much at all. A lot of the hardest working people are only making minimum wage. Um, but then you've got people who have money who are really grumpy and angry and downright vicious, and that's even harder to understand because if they have money, they can actually go places and do things. What are they so angry about? I have no idea. But they tend to be bigots. They tend to be just paranoid, hateful. Uh, these are the kind of people that will call people the N-word, and not just black people, but even white people, their own employees they'll refer to as that. I know that for a fact. They'll call them cattle and all kinds of things. And anyway, so yeah, I mean, there's so much hatefulness and, and division, um, and, and everyone's so angry and so caught up because everyone wants some material world, you know, and, and I've been guilty of that myself, of, of wanting from the material world, and, 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 and we have this sense of um, entitlement that we've all got to get over. We're entitled to nothing, trust me, I mean... Uh, if you really think about it, I mean, I think we all know deep down that many good people have suffered, many bad people have been rewarded. There's no karma at, at, at work in this world that I can see. It just seems to me uh, that it's not about what you deserve. And when it co certainly it comes to materialism, uh, <laughs> more likely than not, if someone's getting a lot that they don't deserve materialistically, it's certainly not the light side of the spiritual that's at work there, because it seems to me that if you, if you, I don't like to go into this sort of thing, really, um, I'm not that comfortable, because spirituality is very personal, and it's a very difficult thing to articulate, and, and a difficult thing to discuss, um, but, I mean, if you are to go, on, were to go into prayer, I mean, and ask the higher power of your understanding, however you want to put it, um, I know I'm not an alcoholic, but that's what members of AA refer to it as a god of their understanding, which is a term that I like. I like putting it that way. Um, I'm not at all personally into any religion. I've always been spiritual and non-religious. Uh, I never felt I needed a church or a Bible of any kind, personally, to be spiritual. I always just was spiritual. Um, but anyway, uh, but if you were to pray, uh, you you actually can receive. I've experienced that many times of receiving. But you'll receive only what you need, not what you would want. You know, the the God of my understanding doesn't work that way. Um, but anyway, uh, so the point of this video, I've I've rambled on a bit here more than I tend to. Is basically to say I'm still around. I have no idea um, what I'll be doing in the future. Um, but I just felt the need to say hello and um, just to test the pulse and see how many people are still around. Um, like I say, I do intend to put a video up shortly discussing um, the YouTube uh, community, my experience of it, what and, and my memories of it, and what it meant for me and how to affect my life and basically a story that has been untold as of now and definitely deserves to be told. Peace.